One of the main reasons why we chose to develop the Act Assist app was because we noticed that access to support for mental health problems was fairly limited. Um, so people who needed the help and wanted the help to psychological support couldn't necessarily access it. And we found that people did like to be involved in a trial that was around digital health interventions for early psychosis. We found that there was some small improvements in people's general symptoms related to psychosis and in their mood. Um, and so what that told us was that we needed to now run a bigger, more definitive trial um, to see whether those results are borne out in a, in a proper large-scale trial. We also interviewed people one-on-one -on -one at the end of using the app to ask them how they found it, and it was overwhelmingly positive. So 90% of um, participants said they'd recommend it to somebody else and they'd like to continue using it. Um, and they described things like uh, they felt more in control of their healthcare. Um, they felt somewhat empowered as well that they were taking their healthcare in their own hands, that they didn't have to necessarily rely on uh, seeing professionals in services to get some tips and strategies and ideas for how they might manage better or just cope a bit better day to day. So the way the app works is that there are two aspects to it. So there's some question answer exchanges where um, the service user is invited to respond to an alarm that beeps three times a day and then the app asks a series of questions around some experiences that people might find distressing associated with psychosis. So for example hearing voices or having um, suspicious or paranoid ideas or feeling like they're struggling to get out and about and socialise with other people. And so the person can choose any domain that they wish to work on and then ask answer a series of question answer exchanges around their beliefs, um, the way these beliefs make them feel, um, the consequence that it can have on their behaviours. And then depending on what answers you choose as part of that, the app then gives you just some very brief tips and strategies about how you might manage those experiences. The other aspect of the app is called My Toolkit. Um, and this is where we have a range of um, materials such as fact sheets that people can refer to and that's around things like mood and anxiety and self-esteem and goal setting and so on that people can work through. Um, we have a chill out area which is um, some different mindfulness exercises and relaxation exercises that people can work through. Um, and the other thing the app does is give people a graphical summary of their experiences over the past week or the past month and it enables the participant to see how their symptoms or their experiences may have fluctuated over time and the participant can choose to share this with their clinician um, or they might choose to just um, look at it on their own and be able to reflect on how their experiences have been over the last week or the past month.